Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another Max for Live video tutorial. Um, this one has nothing to do with audio. It's just something cool I saw on a different tutorial. Uh, the guy was talking about how to save pattern objects as presets. And he had this kind of device set up just for the purposes of the other part of the tutorial. And I thought it'd be fun to, to see if I could recreate it. And I did successfully, and I figured I'd share with you guys how to do that. So what I've got here is just this box, and I've got a couple of dials on here, and as I turn them, uh, I can get varying degrees of colors, and I can just, you know, make some uh, colors on here. I've just got three dials, and they're set to red, green, and blue, and obviously if you mix those colors, you can get any color in the vis uh, visible spectrum. So let's go ahead and see if we can recreate this. So the first thing we need to do is come into uh, Max Instrument, drop that on here, um, open it up, and we can go ahead and just get rid of everything here. We're not going to be using any of it. And I'm going to come in here and type N dial, not live dial, just regular dial. And then I'm going to hold down Alt to duplicate that three times. And we need to do a couple of things inside the inspector. And I'm just going to open it up here because this is the way I like to do it. Uh, including background, yes. We're going to come down here and we're going to turn float output because we're going to use some flow numbers coming up in a little bit. And we're also going to change the number of steps to 1. And that way it's just going to go from uh, 0 to 1 on the dials here. So if I lock this. This is from 0 to 1. We can't see the numbers yet, but um, once we put in some more parameters, we will be able to see them. Uh, and we need to do that for all three of those. Um, and if I don't click this float number box, I can only go to 2. So if I type 1, it will automatically change the range to 2. Um, so I need to set the flow number or float number and then change it to 1. So do that first and come in here again. Oh, including background. I'm not sure if I did that. And float number. And just, whoops, get a little ahead of myself here. Type 1. Boom. Okay, the next thing I need to do is type N flow number. And get that going. And then I'm going to duplicate that three times. And then I'm going to connect these bad boys to each other. Very cool. Sweet. And this is where I can see that the parameter here is going from 0 to 1. You can see it in the flow number down here. Okay? Uh, another thing we can do before we even get the panel is um, scripting name. Type the first one, red. Next one, green. And then this last one, blue. Oops. And the next thing we need is a POC object. And that's, you type P-A-K, but it's pronounced POC. And we're going to change the background color of the panel. And then we're going to type 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 1 dot. Boom. And it's going to give us five inputs, and we're only going to use those first three. And we're going to connect those here, here, and here. Pretty sweet. And then here we're going to come in and panel. And we're going to connect that oops, to here. So these dials are going to tell this bad boy to adjust the background color of the output here, which is the panel. So hopefully that will work. Boom. And you can see that we are good to go. We have the green, red, green, blue. Cool. And uh, if we want to get super fancy and have that come into live so you can play with that and make cool colors while you're supposed to be doing a live set or working on music, um, we can come in and shift click all three of those, right click and add to presentation. And then we can come into view, patch inspector, open in presentation. 
And then we can come in and go to presentation mode and bring this up and red, green, blue. And I'll just make this super huge just so we can see what we're doing in the club. You know, the clubs are very dimly lit, so we need a big panel so we can make sure our colors are beautiful. And then if we want to just write a quick comment, we come in and just click C and type R. Oops. And then bring it over. And then here, click C, G for green. And then here, C, B for blue. Cool. And that's what it will look like. And if we want to save, I'm just going to type mine uh, tutorial, or I'll do the color box tutorial. Tutorial. And save it there. And if you look down here, that's the one we just made. So I'll lock it down. Come out. Come out, and hopefully it works. And boom goes the dynamite. We got a cool RGB color creator device that's working inside of Ableton Live. And it has nothing to do with uh, music. So anyway... I hope that helps. I hope you learned something, and I'm going to keep cracking away at this program because it is by far the coolest thing I have spent money on in a long time. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.